Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome to Americana. I haven't posted a video in a long time. I know. I've just got some new cars that they're coming to the channel. Don't worry about it. But I got something fun to do today. I've had this idea for a while. It took me forever to find a car to do it with. I mean, I tell you what, you cannot find a $500 car anymore. It's like, it's like impossible. So I finally found, I was wanted to find a $300 car. Then my budget went up to, I was like, oh, well, I'll buy a $400 car. And impossible, can't find it. So then I finally found a $500 car. It's fantastic. It's basically like, it sucks because it's hard to do this with like a full race car. You know, high horsepower, high performance stuff. I don't want to like ruin it, you know what I mean? But you guys, you guys are going to like it. We're going to see if this bad machine right here will run on, oh, not canola oil, not uh, almond oil, but on olive oil. Yes, cooking oil, not on, not in the fuel, but in the engine. We're going to see if we can get rid of that pesky motor oil and fill her on up with some nice here. Let's see if this is open. Yes, sir. I've got Bertali cooking olive oil. Now you can see the viscosity there. It's like. Oh, it's probably like, it's like 020, maybe thinner, okay? So we all know, you know, you know, maybe you've cooked with this before. It has a high, you know, it takes temperature well, you know what I mean? So I'm at least not worried about it burning up. I'll show you what's in that bag in a second. That's, that's for round two. But let me show you this bad machine right here. Basically got it like off like a race car driver who was like getting out of the game. Um, he said that like, uh, he said to be super careful because it's like, I think it's like 450 wheel naturally aspirated. Here, we'll do a walk around. I think he lied to me though, because I tell you what, it doesn't feel like 450 wheel. It feels like, uh, it feels like 390 wheel. Um, and like the shifts like basically snap your neck. So it's just not something that you want to drive on the road. Uh, it just lights the tires up everywhere. Um, obviously, no, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. All right. Mm. I'm joking. I know I had a lot of you guys fooled, but let's see what's under the hood of this bad, bad machine here. Wait, is there a hood prop on this thing or like, there it is. Now what you're looking at here is the dock 16 valve. Uh, I honestly, gosh, is it a 2.4? Does it say somewhere? I think it's like 2.4 liters of fury. And of like, you know, basically your nightmares are, are inside this thing. It runs like a top. It runs like, it, it does. It runs good. And I actually feel bad for the people who needed the vehicle who aren't going to be able to have one because I need to do a very important experiment and see if it will run on cooking oil. So let's see, what is it? Oh, okay. It says 520. Perfect. Because I've got cooking oil. So that'll work great. I can't find a liters on this thing. Let's see. Does it say here? No, I don't know. It's like a 2.0 or a 2.4 or something like that. Oh, it's a 2.0. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's a 2.0. All right, so stay tuned. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drain out the new oil, or drain out the old stupid motor oil. I think it just had an oil change too, so get rid of that dumb stuff. Um, and I did get a filter, so that way we can go from an uh, oil filter to an olive oil filter. All right, give me a minute, and uh, we'll drain the oil out of this thing and get started. All right, so as you can see, I've graciously set this camera up for you guys so you can see what's going on under the hood. And we're just going to fire it up now with good oil in it. I'll give it a couple revs so we can kind of hear what's going on. I'll probably close the hood just for a good control so you can hear what it sounds like when it's got good oil and it's running. As you can see, this thing runs like an absolute champ. It seriously does. It runs great. Um, I mean, you could probably put a wine glass on there or like, you know, the quarter standing up sideways. It, it does. It runs great and it sounds great. So let me just go ahead and shut the hood with this camera. stuff. I 
think that's I think that sounds perfect. So here's a great control test for you. Let's get to changing the soil. Oh, it's great. You know what? You know, come take a look at this. The previous owner was uh, he was gracious enough to go ahead and delete on that uh, pesky catalytic converter for me. So now I can't get my hundred dollars. That's fantastic. All right, so what we want to do is you just get some to lay on. Um, my creeper's been broken for years, so what I do is I just get a cardboard box, you just blow her apart, so she's flat. And you know, she's an oblong shape, but what are you gonna do, you know, so. Let's get under here. Oh. So, I mean, that's, you know, it's not brand new oil, but it's definitely got good viscosity to it, you know, and does the job, so. That's what she looks like. I did switch my creeper out to a luxury creeper. I found this is laying around here. Now we're gonna switch out that uh, engine oil filter for one of these. Now this is an olive oil filter, so it's gonna do a lot better at filtering that olive oil. Uh, don't forget to lube your little o-ring here. All right, so we're gonna zip this guy on there and then uh, we'll get to uh, pouring in the, the good stuff. All right, let's grab this, uh, this high performance stuff here and don't look at that. All right, so as you can see, I've got this Bertoli, uh, like super high performance cooking oil. It's like not cheap, honestly. It's like it's like seventeen dollars. No, it was like thirteen ninety nine or something for these big guys. And these are a quart and a pint. So I don't know what kind of measurement that is, but that's what they are. So we're gonna go ahead and get to pouring these guys in, and let's. I mean, let's pray that this thing survives because I actually have more ideas for this car. I would hate for the Bertoli cooking olive oil to uh, be the end of this guy, but we'll see what happens. <sighs> I will probably try some rev limiter bangs with the olive oil. I think it has to be part of the test, so uh, let's get let's get to it. All right, here goes the Bertoli. What kind of cap is this? I see it like... Okay, oh, okay, okay, I see. Not like. You got a nice little pour spout there for your engine. All right, now we're just gonna, we're gonna pour and then we're just gonna go like that. She's gonna drink up. There's one quart and one pint, so there's another quart and a pint. These actually pour very nicely. I wish, I almost wish that uh, regular engine oil things would be like this. I mean, this is pretty good. Three pints is almost a quart. So this is each a quart and a pint, so it'll be like three quarts and three pints. So we'll need just a little bit of the small Bertolis. I really do think this is going to work pretty good. I mean, look at the consistency of it. It's not too bad. Should we check her olive oil stick? She might be over full, over full a little bit. All right, the olive oil meter says it's full. So we're just going to run with that. All right, we got her full of the olive oil. Let me go ahead and uh, let's start this thing up and see what it does. Oh, please don't just like rattle like crazy. I honestly like, watch for the oil light, okay? Okay, we don't need wires. We don't. No, no, no. All right, see the oil light down there? Now, if you don't know, that oil light means zero oil pressure. So it'll start up since we just did an oil change and, and an olive oil filter. That's going to be on for a second. We should see it go away once it has olive oil pressure. All right, ready? I'm kind of nervous. I don't really just want it to blow up right away. It's got olive oil pressure. I'd say that sounds really good. Still no oil light, so. I think I can, I think I can hear a little bit of rocker noise, but it's really not bad. All right, so let's, let's, let's check her out and see how she rolls. All 
All right, so before I put too much heat in this olive oil, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna shut her down, and let's go around the block. Let's go around the block and see, what, see how she performs out there on the street. That's what's important. Sounds really good, sounds the same, I think. Look at this nice gentleman here, how's it going? I hear some funny noises, I'm going to ignore them. You hear that noise? I do not like that. This is a pretty good test, I mean, we are on the road, so. I just hope when I do my next test then. suspension is okay it's all right all right let's see if check for cops this thing's hardly legal all right let's get the beans go oh, i'm putting this oil in my bmw yeah that was and no wonder it's $14 a quart because it's super high performance stuff. Everybody knows it. So I, they probably use it in Formula One racing and uh, they just obviously, like a lot of that stuff's top secret. I don't know if you know, but a lot of that stuff, they don't just go to the general, general public because like they like to sell it. You know I mean? No wonder olive oil is $14 a quart because it probably, this thing's got like, this thing gained a hundred horsepower. Not even, I'm serious. So. Um, let's pull back to the shop and let's check it over and uh, let's see what it did. All right, I pulled it into the shop and it does smell like it does smell like cooking. It definitely does. Do I dare do the the red line test? Oh God. They're gonna get mad at me if I don't. All right, it passed, it passed the test. Olive oil works, olive oil works as engine oil. It passed all the tests. You could probably run this and it smells, it smells great. It smells like your mom is cooking you some pancakes in the morning, maybe some eggs. And you know, like it smells like a freshly greased pan. And like, this, I, I'm running this in all my cars now for a daily driver and like, no, I'm joking. Don't run olive oil, but it, it, it does work. And this thing's at full temp. It does work and this thing is at full temp. And I'm just letting it idle because, I mean, I have confidence in it. Hopefully it doesn't just lock up any second, but... All right, I'm going to shut it off. We'll drain the olive oil. We'll see what it looks like. And then let, let's check it out. Let's see if it's, like, dirty or, like, really thin. The oil pan's not overly hot. So... Oh, this is just hand tight. That's great. That's all right. Who needs a tight oil pan thing anyways? It's just a waste of time. This is going to shoot out, like, freaking water. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, you know what? Are you kidding me? Dude, that's, that, this feels like motor oil. And I'm not even joking. I mean, I'm, not, I'm putting this in my other cars. I'd be a fool. And see, like, it's organic. See, like, it's like normal, you know, it's a little cancerous. This is just wonderful. I would take, I would bathe in this, you know? Good. So basically now it's just heated olive oil like it's for doing popcorn or whatever you'd like. But I mean, honestly, that's way better than I thought it would be. All right, I mean, as you can see, I got a paint stick here. I mean, 
This is not bad. I mean, it's a little thin. It smells like you're going to make some popcorn, but besides that, that's solid. I mean, I mean, no, don't run it in your car all the time, but it totally works. I bet you could probably get away with running it to like work and back if you needed to. I mean, seriously, especially if it was a short trip and the car had time to cool down, this stuff thickened it back up a little bit, but our hypotenuse was true and it's, I mean, it works perfect. And like I said, it's basically racing oil, so. All right guys, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button because next week we got this car back. We're gonna be running Mapple pancake syrup. <laughs> That's right. Um, hit that subscribe button guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a comment, tell me what you thought about the Hyundai. Tell me if you think it's gonna run on the Mapple syrup because I think, it, I think it's gonna be like racing well again. So go ahead and hit that like, hit the subscribe. Thanks a lot guys. This is Lars Americana signing off. It's gonna get dust in your face, but what you do is you grab it. <laughs> what you do is you grab it and you just. And you just kind of wave the dust away. But what I need to do is I need to mount this little camera on the hood. Let's see, like. Mm, that's way too thin. Ooh, cooking olive oil. Oh yeah, don't worry about that, that's for next week.